In this video I'm going to start preparing the Skywalker fuselage to receive the FPV gear. Okay, this is the Skywalker body, 1880mm wingspan. And what we're doing right now is putting in this carbon fiber tube that reinforces the fuselage. And what I want to try to stop is any twisting action. There's a twisting action in the fuselage that I want to prevent. So what I'm thinking of doing is drilling a hole through here and insert a piece of carbon fiber here and also do the same thing down at the end here so that the rod will prevent the fuselage from twisting. I realize this will all be glued in but uh, that still may not stop the, the twist. So the first thing we're going to do is drill a hole on the drill press. Now I've already marked and pre-drilled one hole so it looks like this. So one rod will go there and then we're going to put another one down here so I'll just go ahead and mark that going to be right about at the end here. Somewhere right in there. Okay, off to the drill press. So here's the hole we already drilled and I've taken a long board here and made a jig to keep the holes aligned. So the hole at each end will be aligned. So I'm going to put the carbon fiber rod through there and that will keep this from turning while I drill the other hole at the other end. So now I'm over here, there's my mark, Coming down, I mean this is just an approximation, it doesn't have to be perfect, straight to the center, my hand out of the way so you can see that, and there it is, thank you. <laughs> now let's go try the test fit. Okay, I'm going to feed the wires through here. Servo wires that were provided in the kit. Put one in, put the other in right behind it because you can't stack them. The plugs would not fit stacked up. Pushing it through. This is probably going to be time lapse, so I don't need to talk. So I've got a bolt on this it was easier the first time. And come out the other end? Yeah, I'll do that. I was trying to zoom in on it. There. So there's still room to put the carbon fiber rod right through in between the servo wires. No problem there. And then sit it down. Same thing on the other end. Let's see if I can show you here. through the hole. It's looking for the hole. There it is. Like that and like that. And then we just have to glue it in. Okay, the kit came with this tube of glue here which uh, I think is some kind of thick CA for gluing the body together and I'll probably use that when I put the two halves together. But right now we are putting in this rod and I'm going to glue it in using this silicon glue, which is called Clear RTV, from Napa Auto Parts. And uh, I've already applied it down this slot right here. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and glue in this tube. Laying it in there. Like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the clamps on it. Got three clamps to put on. One here. One at the tail, and one big one up here, and that should hold it while it dries. That silicone glue takes a while, so it'll probably be maybe overnight for this to dry. Okay, here it is the next day, and the tube is finished gluing with the silicone glue. And there's virtually no twist action at all in the fuselage now. I can try to twist it, and it, it's pretty solid. 
I've also added the two servos on the tail here and connected up the wires to the wires that go through the tube. So that's how it was done. Okay, on the tail of the plane, I'm going to put a little welder's glue on the hinge for the rudder and just basically creating my own hinge. Now after I get the glue on there, I'm just going to spread it out with my finger, make a thin film. And that kind of acts like tape once it dries, like rubber tape. So that's going to form the hinge, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now after the welder's glue dries, the hinge line here may be kind of sticky still. You can probably hear that stickiness. And the way we correct that is to just rub on a little baby powder. So I'll just sprinkle a little baby powder on here. Lay it more or less flat and then just rub it in to the crease. Do that both sides. And now I think you can see it's not sticky anymore. So that's that. The Skywalker pod came like this from Bev RC and we glued it together with some Elmer's wood glue. So once the wood glue dried on the pod, I went ahead and sprayed it with some black paint just to give it a nice finished look. Okay, we're looking at the motor mount on the Skywalker right now and what was provided was this motor mount here which just glues right on there. The motor would then have to bolt onto that. Of course that would make it hard to remove the motor because the screws would be behind this and if they're behind that then you'd have to rip this off to get the screws out to change the motor. So what I've done is uh, I've made another larger piece out of the same thickness plywood cut it out with this hole saw and uh, you can get that at your hardware passing the two together and then I can mount it in here and that'll allow me to use this larger bracket that came with the motor see that bracket was really too small for this even though the motor kit was supposed to be made for the Skywalker it doesn't really fit but it will fit on this larger piece which I can then glue on here. The mount, of course the motor will be mounted on that bracket. Well that will allow me to unscrew this bracket later, take it off and change the motor if I have to. So I've glued the two pieces together with some Elmer's wood glue and that's going to fit right here like that later on. And then the metal bracket of course will go on top of that on some small holes I've drilled. So after the glue dried, I went ahead and sprayed the motor mount black just to give it a nice look. Okay, the motor we're going to be using is a custom special from Bev RC, and it comes with a motor mount and a spinner. And it is the AX2814C, and it's got a KV of 980. Now I may also use the Hobby King Pro Drive 3536 which is a 1400 kV and this is the uh, part number for it right here it has a little more power and also weighs a little more too now gluing the motor mount to the back of the uh, fuselage here and I'm only going to be gluing the bottom half so I can keep the split view okay the bottom half is now dry and I use some of this welders glue to glue it on there. I've also added some nylon bolts right here that I've glued in with welder's glue. I'm going to have four of them all together. You can see where they're going right through here. Right through some holes in the motor mount right into the foam and then I'm going to have them glued down. And there'll be a fourth one that I'm going to mount on the top later. So when I finally glue the top half of the plane on, I'll go ahead and insert this last nylon bolt, which will be an inch and a half. 
and just glue it into the into the foam so I'll have all four bolts. This is how I decided to place the wires in the tail of the Skywalker and I'm just going to go ahead and hot melt those in and the wires basically just curl around inside this vertical stabilizer and then they're connected on here to the extension wires which go through the tube and come out down here inside the main fuselage. So let's hot melt them in. Basically what I do is just put a little drop of hot melt and then just push the wire on top of it like that. So in the next video, we're going to start installing the FPV gear, starting with the long-range system, the LRS. Stay tuned.